Hi guys, I am back. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I really apologize. The holidays have gotten out of control and just been so busy. And I know actually I'm not even going to be home this weekend, so I'm not even going to have time to do anything else this weekend. So I want to do this. Um, it's late after work, so I don't look my best like usual. <laughs> but um, I knew I didn't have another chance to do anything this weekend, so I wanted to make sure I got this done for you guys. I really do apologize for not posting anything for a while. Um, Speaking from somebody who watches YouTube videos regularly, it does get a little annoying to go on and look at your subscriptions and no one's updated. So I do apologize for that. So what I'm going to do is an e.l.f. lip um, review. Plumping Lip Glaze from e.l.f. And um, it is in Ruby Kiss. And this lip um, glaze I don't use very often. Um, I did buy, I do like, but I just don't use it very often. I will tell you that there's not much pigmentation at all to this product. Um, so there it is here. And like once you just rub it in a little bit, for being ruby red, I don't think it's very um, dark. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I guess a, a lip glaze can be um, different to everyone, so I guess it's whatever you prefer. I prefer a lot more color, so um, that was okay. Now the plumping part, so this is the glaze, the lip gloss, and then this is the plumping. Um, you put the gloss on first and you put the plumping over, wait, scratch that, reverse it. Um, you put the plumping on first and then you put the gloss, the color on second. The plumping does um, feel like it's plumping. I'm not positive it is, but it does feel like it. It has a strong cinnamon, which smells wonderful, um, to it. And, um, when I put it on, I do feel my lips getting fuller from that cinnamon reaction. So, um, that does work. But like I said, the only reason I don't use it is just doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. So that's really the only reason I don't use it. Um, so if you're getting these and you're looking at the color, they're not really true to the color. I mean, as you can see, that's pretty dark in there. And I didn't think it was that dark on my skin at all. So, um, if you're looking for a night, a nice light gloss, it's a good product. Um, this is from their dollar line. So let me go on to the next product. Um, this is from their mineral line and I was really excited to find this because I'm a lipstick person. I'm not a gloss person. I really, really like lipsticks and actual lipsticks. Um, so I was really excited to see this. So I did get this and the mineral line is $3 and there it is. And you can tell I use it cause you can see other lipstick colors on top of it. But, um, this color is in Royal red again with the pigmentation for Royal red. I was expecting red and this is more of a tan color let me get any other colors off okay so let me do a little swatch for you so you can see it I mean it's red but I mean for royal I don't know it just didn't scream it's more of a maroon I think um, a deeper red a darker red but with a I don't know it's just not <laughs> I know I'm sounding repetitive but I just like darker lips sometimes and when I was getting ruby red I was expecting that but I will say I use this almost daily because I have a red lipstick, um, which I will review in a second, of red stain. And this is great over it because the red stain actually makes it too bold of red. Um, so this is how I get my medium. This is how I get the color I want. So I do use this almost daily. Um, I also use it over other lipsticks that I have that um, the color, whenever I get a bold, too bold of a color on, I use this to tone it down a little bit um, and make it deeper. Because um, I like darker, not bright. So um, I, I really do like this product. I think it's a great lipstick. It goes on nice and smooth. Um, really, I just, I, I, I like their mineral lipsticks. There's, I, I don't really know how else to say it. Um, it's just, they're, you know, out of all the lipsticks I've tried, I mean, they're very similar to other lipsticks I've tried, but again, with e.l.f., everything with e.l.f. is, I never find anything exceptional, but what I find with them is that a pretty good quality especially for the price that you're paying. So for a $3 lipstick, which um, when I bought this was 50% off, so for a $1.50 lipstick to me, this is goes above and beyond um, how it should for a $1.50 lipstick. Um, but, you know, for a $6 lipstick, no, it, it won't compare. But, you know, so the thing with e.l.f. always to remember is that it is good for what you're paying. So that's the thing to remember. 
Um, let me go into my super glossies. And the only reason I have two is because I have a little story with it. So this is the e.l.f. super glossies. This color I have here is in Goddess. And this is actually my favorite color in this gloss. And this color is an angel. And it's just a clear gloss. So um, this I bought online. And it is in their dollar line, so it was for a dollar. Um, I got two different colors, and I really, really like this. I've gotten compliments on it when I wear it. And um, and like I said, this is the goddess. And um, I like the way it feels on my lips. Um, staying power, you know, with any, I think this is similar to any gloss that you really get because glosses just don't have a lot of staying power. But um, I think that it does a wonderful job, again, for a dollar. Um, but I really do like this gloss. So I do recommend this, and I recommend this color. I really like the um, goddess color. Let me see if I can get a little swatch for you. Um, it does have just a regular hard... Um, plastic top with just a little hole at the top. Now the thing is with this, I will say that if you're a person that likes to put this on your lips instead of using a brush or your finger, um, it's a little rough, but not bad, but just a little rough. I like it when it has like either the little doe foot or something like that, something to make it a little bit softer. So I will say I'm not a big fan of that, but um, let me squeeze a little bit out and do a little swatch for you so you can see it. So it's very, I don't even know if you can see, yeah, you can see a little bit. It's very um, peachy color, but it just gives a nice, nice natural shimmer to your lips. It's not like this glittery disco color, and it's not like this cutesy pinky color. It's right in between. So I really, really like that. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this angel is because I bought this at Big Lots. I'm not sure um, if anybody knows the Big Lots. I don't know if it's a franchise. I'm not sure what it's about, but we have a Big Lots here where I live. And what it is, is just um, a discount store. And um, I found the set of glosses there. So I was a little surprised, you know, to see Elf at um, at this place at Big Lots. But um, I went ahead and got it. Uh, and I will say there was a little bit of a different in quality. Now, I don't know what that's about. I really just don't know what that's about because to me, product is product. But I felt the stuff that I ordered online was a little bit better than the quality in the store. So if anybody has had that experience, let me know because I just think that's really weird. Because, I mean, like the packaging, like this tube feels a lot softer. I don't know. It just, and it was the same price except for I didn't have to pay for shipping. So um, I think I got a set of three for $3. So there really was no discount or anything with it. Um, this is nice though. I will say that. It's just a nice little clear um, shimmer color just to give yourself a nice little gloss and shimmer so it is a nice product but I just it has a different scent too than the one I bought online so more of the reason that I'm asking this is because I just want to know if anybody else has experienced that with buying things online compared to buying it in the store and it's the same exact product I just think that's really strange so I have gloss all over my hands now okay so the next review I'm going to do I've talked about this in my nightly routine, and this is the e.l.f. Therapeutic Conditioning Balm. And I have the Vanilla Mint, and also this is the Strawberry Cream. I just want to talk about this because I love it so much. I use this every night before I go to bed. I put it on before I go to bed, and it conditions my lips. Now we're in the winter, and in fact, we're having a blizzard today. And um, so it is really dry out, and I haven't had any problems with chapping or anything. So I really do. And when I don't use it, I notice my lips just aren't to where they should be. So um, I really, really like this product. Um, I really like the strawberry smell better than the vanilla, but I think the vanilla seems to um, go on on better. I don't know what that's about. Again, another weird thing, but um, it, I do really recommend these pro this product. And this is in their dollar line for a dollar, and I think they're a great product, and I think they're great for your lips. So, um, you know, just that's why I wanted to review that again a little bit. 